Welcome to the American Dream Mall. It is Saturday, September 3rd, 2022, and we are back after three months to see uh, what they've done. The first improvement they have done is they have raised the parking price to $5. So they have definitely made it a little better for themselves, though they're still losing a shitload of money. But we are coming in in the uh, parking lot A entrance underneath the ski area, uh, which is the entrance. And we're only going to stay for 45 minutes, and then we're going to turn around and move to another lot so we can get the whole thing done. But I've, I've heard that a lot of things have changed since the last time I was here. So I'm really excited to see what's better about this mall. i got to tell you, though. What's four billion dollars when you can recoup it at five five bucks at a time in parking fees? You know, in no time they're going to make all their money back. So, well, they, no worries. No worries. Well, actually, they owe the town of uh, East Rutherford big money. They missed a couple of mortgage payments. Um, you know, it's not. It ain't happening. Unfortunately, the problem is, is that. We're going to have to re-record, if, if we want to monetize this video, we're going to have to re-record it because they have music playing in the background. But if you talk loud enough, you can't necessarily tell what that song is, and then they won't be able to demonetize you because they can't hear the music and they won't be able to claim copyright infringement. Well, we don't get enough visitors um, to the video that, that demonetizing it's going to mean anything. All right, guys, so don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for future posts so that we can monetize this. Well, if you look right here, H Mart is still coming. We've got a new um, coming soon here, Mrs. Fields Cookies. So let's, let me, uh, there's Mrs. Fields Cookies ready to come. Um, to the ball. <laughs> to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. Ready to go. <laughs> yeah. I was not trying to videotape those um, Arab women. They just happened to be in my way. And I apologize to them because I wasn't, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm just videotaping. Yeah. You know. And if you decide to come in here, I assure you you're on videotape whether you like it or not. If you're anywhere in America, for those of you who are international viewers, fun fact, anywhere in America there's a camera on you at, at any time. If you're in a populated city, it's probably more like eight. If you're out in like Ohio, you know, still at least like one. Yeah. Mr. Beast Burger is now open. You know, I hear that that's actually very popular, but I really don't like it, man. Mr. Beast. This is the first one. No, this is not the first one. It says world's first Mr. Beast Burger restaurant. How do you know? Because there are other Mr. Beast burger places. I, oh, I guess they're not technically restaurants. Well, that's what it says. So let's... And then there's going to be Calypso and around-the-clock diners coming spring of 2023. My question is, will it really be open around the clock? I doubt it. Here's the yard house. Okay. So. You know, I have a good picture of us. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's stop the video for a second.